So I wanted to show you guys the double barrel Colorado Blue Spruce. The double barrel spruce is probably what I'll call it. I'm going to be milling this one up. I think possibly quite a few years ago this tree had been topped and then the tree actually just grew to shoots and it's now big enough for me to mill. It's not too big but it's it's definitely got some size to it. I uh, can see, yeah, there you go. So there's the two. There's the two that grew up, two uh, stems or branches, whatever you want to call them. And here's the other end. So I'm hoping this will be, hoping this will be some pretty cool wood in here. I can already tell. I took the first slab off with the. Uh, Timber Pro with the Chinese chainsaws bar and chain and now I'm actually running laser Laser Chainsaw chain and So you can see the teeth vary in width So this is thicker than this one. These two actually look to be the same this is a full width one, so they vary in in uh, width of the teeth. The angles almost look like a, this looks like a ten or almost zero, and then this one looks to be about a I don't know twenty five or twenty degree angle maybe. I don't know. It's hard to tell. I don't have a I don't have my gauge or the saw sharpener with me to figure out the figure out the teeth and I want to show you this grain so there's some of the grain in there this should be some real neat grain in here it just looks it looks pretty cool so I'm gonna get the saw warmed up here and then show you guys milling this uh, this log is pretty wet this one's pretty wet the rest of these are all pretty dry these trees had been dead for a couple of years and this is the heaviest one out of them all So as you can see, my bar on my chainsaw is not big enough to go through this entire log. And since I have a single post mill, I can actually just take this thing and get the rope out of the way. But I can go back through, I can go back through the other side. I only have like three or four feet of this side that didn't get cut. Doesn't, uh... It doesn't really matter a whole, whole lot how how big the log is, because then I could just run back the other side. So that's what I'm going to do now. I also took some pieces of bark, you can see right there, and shoved it in so I'm not making this board thinner, cutting what I've already cut. And then I stuck another one just a little bit further down right at the tip of my finger there.
So there you go. There's the milling of the double barrel spruce log. So I wanted to bring you guys in a little closer so you can see what the wood looks like. And to be honest with you, it looks pretty good. Well, at least this board does. Oh, that's so cool. I suspect that these pieces will totally split apart, if I had to guess. I did cut in a little right here. So I'll have to, uh, I probably should have shimmed this just a little bit better. And then uh, that probably wouldn't have happened if I'd have brought up the board on both ends. You know, this side here and then this side here. Because I don't think, let me think here, I don't think there was any support on this side. I put it on just there and just there. So it looks pretty good. I'll have to figure out some uh, better way to do that. The chain seems to be doing pretty good. I, uh... I'm impressed. It seems to go uh, faster and it doesn't seem to bind or, or bite as much. So maybe I'll maybe I'll be, keep uh, buying laser chains. I'm not real sure. That chain on there was like 30 bucks, which in my opinion is way too much money for it. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. I've got many, many, many more chainsaw videos on my channel and a few more milling videos. So, hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys next time.